All right, I'm sure you guys seen Big Rich's video yesterday and uh, should have been coming over here this morning. He was supposed to be here this morning. Uh, help cut up the wood. I do have the uh, chainsaw and everything in my shed. But, <laughs> so I left Rich's yesterday. That was in the morning. We got home. Jim Sheasley, he does the Great Lake Medieval Fair. He participates. He's Tom. Tom and Tom. Uh, the Burlap Brothers. And, uh, you know, they give us tickets every year. And we weren't going to go. Next week is, uh, you know, New York. The weekend after that would have been the last weekend. So when I got home, I'm like, hey, Don, you know, we're not doing the tree today. Big Rich is coming over tomorrow. Uh, yesterday, which was Sunday, it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm like, we don't know what the last weekend will be like. We should go today. And so we did. We ended up going yesterday. And Kurt was going to go, but his back has been messed up. So he chose not to go. So he didn't go. And we went. I don't know what happened. I don't know if i just been pushing myself the last couple of days or something. But my left side of my back... I mean, I came home, I couldn't sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, I ended up in the tub, and I'm feeling a little better, but there was no way I was picking up wood or moving it even. Never did hear from John or any of, uh, anybody else, it would have just been Rich and me, so I, I, <laughs> I just can't do it, I don't know, getting old, I don't know, but yes, I do feel better, so hopefully we will get that done. And I do appreciate Big Rich because he would have been here, no problem. It'd be it'd be done already, because it's like noon. It'd be done already. But uh, so unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have any real video uh, because it's, I'm not going out there. Um, but I I'll go in, show my tank, uh, show little dude. We ain't seen little dude in a little bit, and uh, I'll go ahead and. Um, you know, uh, show a few things in the house. And I did get some, uh, uh, some of the Great Lakes, uh, you know, with Jim and, and so forth. Especially one little part, they were getting ready to do this human chess thing called the uh, peasant chess game. And, uh, you know, human things, and as they move and they confront, instead of the piece being taken, they fight. And it, it's weird. It was cool. It was entertaining. And the whole place is neat. And they did some jousting. That was kind of neat, too, as well. I'll put a little bit of that in there for you guys as well. Uh, and in the meantime, tomorrow's Tuesday. Got to get out there to Riches and get everything ready for Wednesday. We got the Indiana pickup. But I got to see if I got everybody coming still because they're not answering. So we'll see what's going on with that. So you guys stay tuned. All right. Thing's not doing too bad, and you know what? Maybe I will grab some more of the uh, ones they had because I'm taking all these guppies out, anyways, putting them in Don's tank. But my snail collection is coming good, and I tell you what, all my plants are starting to come back. Them algae eaters, man, they do a great job, they really do. I mean, I do go in once a month, like I'll go in today where that Tetris is underneath him. I'll go remove some of that stuff, you know, but like, I, I, I can't really, I can pull out, you know, from in here a little bit, but it's been up to them. It's been them doing most of the eating. But, yeah, and all that grass is already cutting down on the, I swear, man, it's only been a month, and I took so much of that and threw it in here with the goldfish, and they seem to love it, you know. I thought, we, we thought they'd eat it all, but... There's Goldie, she's the oldest one we got. She looks blind and everything, but I tell you what, when we feed her and everything, she is very good and very active. <laughs> so, Dawn even left the lid open once and she got out and still was doing good. But, uh, yeah, I got a pair of bristle pleckos in here and I still got the white uh, crayfish. But all of Dawn's plants are doing real good. This one here is a queen of the night cactus. This thing came in as a stick, literally, and it is just, we are waiting for it to bloom. They only bloom at night, 
and it's rare for them to bloom so we can't wait for that one to bloom but all right i'll go in and show you a little dude real quick and uh, we'll take it from there he's actually sleeping he likes to sleep in his little corner back there if i wake him up too suddenly then he gets spooked so well, there he is that little belly from the night before but ended up getting some string LG in here and I've been working to get it out so covered up all that red stuff I had in here so I don't know I might have to get more of that from Kimmy and uh, which will be at the show at the end of the month so who knows but alright last little dude alright and at dawn she's dealing with it's not quite string LG but it's like it but it floats and yeah, look what it does to her intake but I showed her how to take the uh, uh, um, net and put it around that and then you can take it off and then the net catches most of it but this is the Madagascar lace plant that I've seen uh, Agna Aquatics has been advertising they got a few more in and this is the one we got like two years ago I believe about this this is the second year and the first year we got it believe it or not uh, it bloomed twice for dawn so, uh, you know, thanks, Alicia. It, it's been awesome. And her, uh, what are they, the Coley Loaches, they've been doing circles over here and over there. So they're in a breeding cycle and a breeding mood again. But, all right, so uh, I'll show a little bit of the, um, you know, state fair or the uh, medieval fair that Jim was in and gave us tickets to. And we'll call this a video. All right, everybody. So Dawn and I are back at the Great Lakes Festival, and there's our buddy. Everybody calls him Tom the Burlap Man, but there's our buddy Jim Sheasley. They're going to be doing a human chess match. I'm not sure if he's participating or not. We just ran into him. We'll see. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's our gym playing Tom the Burlap Man. And that's Tom's partner talking to that the lady right there by her. Yeah, the gentleman in burlap and red next to Tom there, that is Tom's partner. actually here at the Great Lakes Medieval Fair, you'd be having a wonderful time now. But no, you're at this man's house watching this fishy video. Now they're getting ready to do the jousting. Last year we were sitting down there. This year, Jim or Tom, he got us right next to the king and queen and everybody royal up there. So we got front row seats. The only ones in here. Everybody else sitting 
<laughs> Good for us. Come on, you can do it. That helmet is three sizes too big on So as you guys saw, the fighting in the end, that was pretty cool. And they even had, I, it was hard to tell because of the zooming, but they even had that fake blood, especially you could see it on the very last one, but they all did. It was really odd. I mean, you could tell the whole audience was into it. You guys need to check out the Great Lakes Fair and go see Jim and his buddy Tom. They are so funny. The whole thing is awesome. In the meantime, you guys stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.